Pisces, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. So uh, in your recent past here, it seems like you're going through a little bit of a, uh, a push of energy, meaning that you are uh, ascending through where you are frequency wise into the next level of you know, what you're going to be doing here in this particular lifetime. Um, so you're overcoming certain fears, adversities. You are really being challenged. Your inner child is really being challenged here with this nine of wands in reverse. Um, it's really just the message that's that things most likely felt difficult because, and we always interpret it as like, things are really difficult. You know, the end is here. How am I ever going to get through this? Um, it may even be, have uh, almost felt like there wasn't uh, a lot of inspiration happening. A lot of action wasn't being taken. You might have thought you've been failing. You may have even thought you're, you know, falling behind with that King of Wands in reverse. Um, but uh, either way, understand that uh, never is the case. You're always being guided forward. When we ever are in this type of frequency, this dense frequency where we can feel that that great changes are happening and this is what this means is when things are feeling extra dense and when things are feeling extra challenging and difficult it means that great changes are happening and so energetically you're feeling this density and you're feeling like things might feel wrong you're feeling like things are not progressing um, but as a matter of fact that's just not the case it's just your energy is getting used to acclimating to new frequencies um, and so it feels like that for us right so in those moments, um, you want to just remember that great changes are happening and you really want to try to connect with uh, um, focuses in your life, areas in your life, activities, hobbies, um, or even whatever it is that you're doing. Look at it from the perspective of progress. So what am I learning and what can I do to continuously move forward? Yes, it's dense. Yes, it's not feeling good. But what do I have control over right now to just keep moving forward? And it's this awareness that will keep us um, kind of in line, uh, not in line, but um, it won't keep us stuck. It won't get us stuck. So Fox Spirit brings the message of think on your feet, right? Really being able to read the energy in the present moment, not getting stuck in the density, not getting stuck in what is, not getting stuck in like, how do I fix it, right? That stuff will keep us stuck. It's really about just being like, I'm feeling the density, changes are happening. It's all gonna be work out best case scenario, very exciting. Right now I'm feeling it, so what can I, you know, what is what will be fun for me right now? What would be easy going for me right now? What would be something that would bring me satisfaction right now? And again, it's just being able to pivot with the energy um, because dense energy keeps us stuck. You feel that, right? It's like when you don't wanna do anything, right? You don't wanna push through, it's like pushing through cement, right? When big changes are happening, and we know we are going through these changes, it just literally feels like cement is around us and we can't even move our bodies, right? And we don't wanna do anything. We just wanna be like lumps on the log, right? But at the end of the day, it's in those moments where you just got to recognize you just got to go do something fun, something that's easy for you. It may even be something like meditation, right? Connecting with your ancestors. It may even be something, um, you know, like going for a walk or taking a bath, you know, like easy going. But something is better than nothing all the time. Like even if you're getting up to get a glass of water, like just moving and keeping things moving is going to allow you to not be so stuck on the energy right now because right now we can feel that the energy is very dense uh, or that was in your recent past was very dense. Um, now, because of that density that was going on, because of the great changes that are happening, because you're basically saying, I want more, spirits like, here's your more, but now you're being called to action, and it's that action that leaves us feeling really like our inner child is like, what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be good. Uh, what if they don't like me? What if I, I don't get it right? You know what I mean? That's the inner child, right? Feeling uncertain. And then so we don't want to take any action because we're feeling like, oh my gosh, right? And then what happens is we fall into this egotistic kind of a perspective, five of swords, and we move away from our spiritual selves, King of Cups, right? So that internal card, excuse me, that reverse 
reversal of the King of Cups is that you're far removed from your true self, which is a um, um, an influencer um, and a leader of your of of the people that you surround your life with and of your life in general. Right? You are the leader and you are the creator. And when it, the King of Cups is coming out in reversed, you're most likely feeling uh, hyper emotional. Um, you're most likely feeling uncertain about how to move forward in this new space, this new frequency, how to be the leader of your life, how to be the uh, the controller, the controller, the creator, right? The, the, um, you know, the authoritarian of your life, right? You get to make the call the shots and this is new territory for you. So it's feeling a little bit uncertain. Um, but have no fear, beautiful soul, because by the end of this thing, you are going to end up connected with that higher friend, right? Fully connected to your higher power, uh, and quite feeling like quite the leader of your life with that emperor card, right? So this is the journey that you are on and you are going to get yourself there, right? You, it's all going to happen, right? At the end of the day, natural, organic um, transformation happens. You are in the ascension process phase, right? So again, things are always dense before they get better um, because we have to go through hardships to recognize and feel that contrast, right? So contrast is how we learn here on planet Earth. Um, so you're going through the ascension and at this time, really try to prioritize listening and hearing. Listening and hearing, right? Listening, receiving, receiving, receiving. Um, that, you know, it's, it's your guidance that's always going to call you forward. Right. And um, your guidance will help you with all kinds of things. Right. Relationships, work, money, um, your body, health goals. Right. You will always receive the downloads you are looking for or the guidance you are looking for when you are focusing on the healing or the progression of it. Right. And not the anger or the emotion of it. Always remember that. So this is your affirmation. Instead of focusing on the anger, I focus on healing the pain. Example. Um, my husband and I took a little bit of a, uh, we, we stayed up later one night the day before we wanted to, right? So we had this plan to take the whole day off this day. And the night before that, we had like a pre-excitement and we're like, you know what, you know, it'll be fine. We'll just stay up a little later this day. We had some stuff we wanted to do. So we're like, we'll just stay up later this day. And then, you know, it'll, it's like an early weekend, even though we still had to get some stuff done. Well, we ended up not doing the stuff we wanted to do on the day we wanted to do it. So then everything got, you know, everything got prolonged. And then, so there was anxiety running through my body because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm behind. Things are feeling like I'm, I, I didn't do the things I wanted to do. So it's the same feeling of like, I'm not doing the things I wanted to do. Things aren't feeling quite right, right? So you can interpret this as any way because whether it doesn't feel right in a relationship, whether it doesn't feel right in your life, it's just because you're feeling like stressed, you're feeling like rushed, you know, or you're feeling like things just again, aren't quite right. And so in this case, I have a tendency to want to get ang have anxiety, right? Oh, I'm behind. What was I thinking, right? But that's the minute where we just got to take a breath and we got to recognize we just got to focus on healing the pain. So healing on the pain would be just taking breath and prioritizing what's the most important thing to get done, right? What is it that you know you have to do? Get that done first. Start there. Don't even think about anything else because once you tap take one thing off the energy list, right? Because we have all things we got to do and it's basically all energy. And if we focus on all the things we have to do and all the things we desire, we're just being sucked of energy, right? So we have to just focus on the healing, focus on the progression of the one thing that we know we have the control over, right? We start there um, and then we get the energy moving, right? So it might even be something as simple as, again, as I wake up, you know, I'm just going to wake up and have a shower. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to wake up, I'm going to have a shower, right? I'm going to wake up and then I'm going to, uh, you know, um, make my coffee, you know, whatever it is, right? But it's always step by step, right? Start there. But either way, whatever dense energies you were recently going through when it comes to whatever, a person, uh, a, a job, your health, right? This is all part of the natural process of expansion and your life's experiences are naturally going to show you what it is that you're looking for in life and what it is that resonates with you. And it's contrast that lets you know who you are, because if it's, if you were always living in this state of like love and light, uh, you wouldn't really know yourself. Right. And that's why people who people please, it's a facade, right? If you're extra nice, right? It's a facade. Sometimes you walk into uh, yesterday, I walked into a coffee shop, um, to pick up some of my favorite decaf and oh my gosh, the energy was so dense. It almost made me feel sick. I almost felt nauseous uh, and walking in, but, but looking from the outside, the right on the surface, right? The two beings who were interacting very nice to each other. So nice, right? Almost too nice. You know, there's a, there's something going on, right? But the energy in the place felt like, oh, he just wanted to throw up because it was not uh, authentic, right? They were, they were so, um, so far removed from who they were that, um, you know, they live their lives in this, uh, in this, um, inauthentic, uh, pleasing sort of energy. Right. And, uh, and, and that, that happens when we are feeling really dense. Right. And so again, the name of the game is to, uh, really just 
when you are feeling uh, um, low, when you are feeling like things are not good for you, Pisces, uh, that's when connection comes forward the most and you just got to stay on purpose. You just got to stay progressing your life, always uh, evolving and moving forward. And um, that way you're focused on you, right? You're focused on you and you're not focused on, you know, you're not masquerading this 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 density you're feeling right at least feel the density recognize there's changes that are happening um and right now i just like stay connected to my my spirit i just need to stay connected to the things i know i need to do um i need to take it one step at a time you know i don't need to get ungrounded in this um and uh, just recognize that when it comes to relationships in particular, uh, they will all manifest themselves to the way that you want them to be. But you have to be the one to uh, take the lead in this energetic, um, uh, you know, uh, conversation, if you will, right? So you don't want to please, you don't want to try to win them, you don't want to try to, you don't want to argue with them, you don't want to blame them, because all that is you giving your power away, right? You want to be in the presence of whatever relationship you're looking to expand, and you want to always recognize that you are the one that is uh, in control of how this thing goes. But it all boils down to you tuning into what your spirit is desiring, and then acting from a place of purpose from that desire, without getting swept away in the energy of what you're feeling. And there's emotions that are going to be mixed in there when it comes to people, but... Always remember this universe message for you. They chose you. Universe says, you might not really believe this. It might even spook you a bit. But there are those who chose this very lifetime in large part knowing you'd be there. Now that's what we call a reputation. Hugs the universe. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.